Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today. There it goes. Uh, along with... Here's some first mate Rick here, who is annoyed by the neighbor who's decided to use snow to drill loudly. <laughs> okay. And welcome back to Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. And this is also the second stream we're doing of this. And probably the final one of this, because this isn't too long a game. Uh, but if this game ends up going, if this stream ends up going under an hour or so, I have, well, I already had serial cleaners installed, but we can move on to that game then, <clears throat> if we end up coming short. Five streams later. <laughs> and also, uh, thank you, Dunbrian47, for following whilst we were offline. Thank you very much for that. And yeah, thank I hope you. you'll enjoy the show when you show up sometime. Okay, yeah, last time, nope, not new game. Last time we got started, we learned of, well, the mo the death of the mother, uh, the death of the mother of the brothers, and currently their father is also dying of a disease of some kind. And currently, well, we're dodging uh, Frosty Invisible Snowman's uh, rampage here. Never mind. Well, <laughs> yeah, each of these. Oh, God damn it. I didn't notice him getting stuck on something. Uh, yeah, this entire town has been frozen to all hell and back. By this invisible thing. We're guessing it's some sort of yeti, judging by the footprints and such. But it's clearly something a bit more than your usual snow beast. Seeing as it yeah. throws the entire damn town. As well, I just realized there's no. Gods are like. Will I. They use it. But the video has turned the people into actual snow. In other words, just a little bit easier to not have everything bleed. Uh, yeah, point taken. And yeah, this game is dark already enough without <laughs> bloodsicles. <laughs> so much for that thing. <laughs> and yeah, we rescued her from a cult. We're going to sacrifice her. <laughs> I'd actually forgotten that part was that short. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've completed this game before, but I'm lacking on a lot of the details. And, uh, yeah. Aurora it's in the can, sky. It can be a good thing. That, that is a very lovely Aurora Borealis. Naya! Tia Lila! Ta hon! Ta! Na! Tia Ma! Ila Naya! Ila! Na! Ta Ma! Mabadi! Tia! Something's off. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, sometimes it's good to not remember, at least in your case, it's good you do remember everything. So you get to relive it. The Probably usually good to remember the how to solve the more annoying parts without spending three hours getting stuck. Yeah. Bloody called it.
because absolutely nothing in this world can have a happy ending, huh? Been some. But yeah, turns out the bitch is a drider. Something similar to it, Arachnia or something. Oh, Lord the heck, like. The only time I started to suspect her for something was when she started to kiss him. For it. The way she kissed him was a bit. felt way off. Yeah, there is the whole. Uh... <laughs> damsel in distress falling a lot thing but uh, as has been shown this world is no fairy tale uh, um Kellyan, you haven't read the original fairy tales have you yeah i talk more the <laughs> more mainstream fairy tales because there's a reason that the word grim has its current <laughs> its current context Seeing as it was the Brothers Grimm who made a bunch of those uh, fairy tales. Or at least wrote them down. <laughs> yeah, we're just picking her apart one leg at a time. I, I'm not seeing a boss fight or a fight in a game uh, where you fight spiders like this. I can only control the younger brother. Yeah. Uh, uh, as I said, a hug should give her on understandable. But had she just given a regular cheek kiss? Fine, but the way she. Yeah, it was way too. Way too flirty. Uh, I have a lot of heck. Uh -oh. There's Hello. class three. Uh, wait, what? Yep, they've been searching for this tree the whole time. It's on the map. On the map they've got. Oh, I was wondering, what do you call it? Lost a tree for? It's beautiful. Now we need to go find the cure for father. He 
still moving. Yeah, bloody hey, the... Oh, not a cutscene. Right. I really like these uh, willow trees. It it is. I'm not sure. I'm I'm horrible at identifying well, basically everything. Oh really? I, at least I, know, I think you can tell a difference between a cat and a dog. I hope. Mm, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think we call these trees Piltre, which. I haven't seen the name in years, I don't remember how it's spelled, but my guess, if I remember right, it would raw for the translate to arrow tree. Okay, that's a bit of a new one. And I think it might be through the leaves, since you look at them, they look like the, the feathers of an arrow. Yeah. Yes, well, long. And here we are. Wait, that's it? Yeah, that's all we needed to do. No guardian, no trouble. Oh, for love of damn neighbor. 
Yeah, that's what you're doing again during this sad moment. Try as you might, you will always be too late for someone.
this can be a bit tricky. But once you know what has to be done... Right here. Uh, yeah, sort of a silent just... Uh, not much dialogue, well, it's probably don't know, but... We have to push in the Big Brother's action key. The left trigger. Uh, oh, alright. But yeah, the other thing is... This is one of the games you want to let the scene play out without... Uh, how to say this? Ruin? Yeah. And the answer here is the same. It wasn't that he couldn't swim, it was, well, he was afraid of water. For a very good reason. Yeah. Uh, bloody heck, this looks familiar. I don't think I've seen any game adding those little bastards along the beaches. The Cairns, or how you call them again? Uh, Druid stacks? I didn't mean those. I meant the washed up seaweed. <laughs> this and sometimes really will stink. All of the flowers bloom uh, and as life continues on. Oh dear, both were buried on a willow tree. I think one is more symbolic. This means that the other tree was put by was also a willow tree. Oh, bloody heck. This is a good game. 
do a bit of a almost an emotional trip. I, I can see this making people cry. I can see that. Yeah. And the quest wait, did we successful? The price was did we seriously? Yeah. Did we seriously finish this in 30 minutes? Under 30 minutes, yeah. So we will be moving on to serial cleaners. Oh, bloody! I miss me. We'll, we'll be able to finish it last time. <laughs> oh, and I see a, a lot of Scandinavian-sounding names. Not to surprise you. Kagen. That. That's a very Swedish name, O oh, Kagen. <laughs> but yeah, in the end, the quest was successful. Father was saved, but at a a high price. Very sad. Than they expected, but well, they succeeded, and they did do good along the way. Would they have willingly yeah. paid that price for what they accomplished? Maybe. It's a sad. <laughs> bit of a it's a bit sad. End. And I see more Scandinavian. I. Work with. I can say this, they did not speak Swedish, only they speak a. Very old Norse, I'm not recognizing. Then again, I. Not many speak old Norse today. Yeah, I think it was mostly gibberish, but some words. You know, you can make some meaning to them. Like, uh, Nahi. I believe that means brother. But, how, but then again, I think it's also said. Hmm. And yeah, they did use some words that seem to indicate a hello or someone's maybe name. Could be. There was also Poppy, which, well, very obvious what that was supposed to mean. Uh, that, that's an actual term for in when one of the many words were dad. Yeah. So, yeah. That, most of this was gibberish, but uh, not really gibberish. Probably Scandinavian styled, but definitely not an actual language. Yeah, it, the language likely was made up. At least we hmm. can tell. Let's see. Special thanks to Jack, Joseph, and Bonnie, James and Christopher, James, Jordan, Michelle, Nick and Brie, Chandra. And what really? I think the Unreal Tour. I think the Unreal Engine might have been a bit powerful for this, but it worked well all the same. I just watched the other day, yesterday even, by C11, a one hour long video about the first Unreal game. Yeah. So seeing the symbol on these games feels. Um. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Not a game for everyone, but for what it is, certainly well made. Oh, yeah. And I will say this. If anyone did cry for this, you are allowed to. I, do, I did feel sad. I just saw those guys where I apparently no longer can cry when I'm sad. I only can't cry when I'm laughing. <laughs> I will fully admit, first time I did cry. Understandable. And I will be there and pat you on the back. And yeah. probably give you a tissue paper or something. Yeah, the last time I got really emotional, I'd say, with streaming was a time lie. Yeah, I, I remember it with the cat. Haven't you cried on Steam maybe once or uh, at least once? I'm hesitant about the second if you tried two, two times. Hmm. It wouldn't be surprised, we, wouldn't be ashamed we, either. We have been both emotional. That I know we've been repeatedly, but crying one definitely yes. Second hesitant. Hmm. Well, if you could point it out, I would probably be able to identify it, but for now, 
Uh, this is where we'll cut things in the recording to split the video or the videos that will go onto YouTube. So one, two, three.